Teste a sua sorte e saia no lucro. Skin.club, o um novo site de abertura de caixas de skins de CSGO. Usando o link na descrição, você pode ganhar 10% de bônus e 10% de desconto nas três primeiras caixas. Aproveita aí, rapaziada. Primeiro link na descrição, tamo junto. Fala rapaziada, você já conhece a Nest Store aí, mano A maior e a melhor loja de skins do Brasil Com os melhores preços, sem dúvida Com a maior variedade de skins E se não tiver skin que você quer, você pode ir lá no Facebook Fazer uma encomenda com os caras, beleza? Usando o cupom FÁBRICA, mano, você pode ganhar um desconto a mais aí, beleza? É só fazer sua compra aí e usar o cupom FÁBRICA Você seleciona a sua skin aqui, ó Ela vai pro seu carrinho Eu Vou selecionar essa casinha aqui também, mano Vamos supor que você vai comprar uma K e uma M4 aí pro seu inventário Aí você vem aqui embaixo nesse botão Ver carrinho Pronto, rapaziada, você tá no seu carrinho aqui que tá dando total 185, ó você vem aqui utilizar cupom e escreve o cupom fábrica, mano. Pra você usar o nosso cupom do canal aí, vem utilizar. E a hora que aparecer aqui em cima essa mensagem cupom utilizada, é porque o cupom já foi validado, você já tá ganhando seu desconto, demorou? Então é isso aí, rapaziada. Compre ele lá na Nesha, use o cupom fábrica pra fortalecer nós. Valeu, fica com o vídeo aí, tamo junto. Tchau. Mas eu acho que isso poderia colocar o Taco em uma posição muito estranha, certo? Bem, ele tem... Ele tem... O benefício que ele tem agora, ele pode transitar entre ambos os bombs muito rápido, mas a bomba vai ser plantada. Taco aqui, ele rotates, e agora o 1v1 já começa. Remember, o Glaive vai se levantar para mim, e ele vai ser punido por isso. Ele não consegue se posicionar, e vai ser MRBR, que vai ser a área de spawn. Não estou mesmo seguro que há uma chance de ganhar. O boost é praticamente tudo que eles têm para ganhar, e o device está pronto para ganhar. Sim, isso foi chamado, e ele conseguiu o segundo kill, acho que por causa do fogo de fogo de fogo de fogo. Então, ele pode ser derrubado. Uh, AK-47, or you need to do something quite fancy with the SMGs and maybe go for a push somewhere, try and get a frag back. They did uh, try and reclaim territories for sure. They got the kill, but when they got towards that A-bomb side, Astralis side, it all fell apart. Fur was left alone with the SMGs. Got control on this side. I'm not sure if they realize that Fallen is in you. He actually might find a pretty good gap to get a kill. Is he going to go and check it? I wonder if he had the footstep. This should be easy with the 5-7. Waiting for device and... Holding it in for his teammates. More rotation should be happening. I mean, they know a lot right now. Fallen's actually playing this really well. He just has to get the kill, and that's easy. Job well done. Just as the grenades come out from Astralis. So they've kind of committed to this a little bit. And they're going to keep pushing it. The rest of MIBR making their way from the B-bomb side. And Fallen, he's playing oh. it so well. Absolutely amazing. Taking down Glaive. And now Dupree with a bit of a reply on Phelps. But again, they're sort of weirdly locked in here, Astralis. The bomb will go down. Holds here are getting an easy kill. Leaving it in a one versus three. And even for Sip. With 13 health, that is too much to handle. That is a standstill for now. 45 seconds remaining. Cold Zera attacker wait patiently on the A side. Molotov's being deployed. Looks like a final commitment from Astralis here. Glaive coming up towards Long Dupree. Flashed in. The flashback is stellar as well. Great shots from Dupree. He knows exactly where the second player is. Can't hit the shot, but his trade comes through. Zipex will get the plant. Three versus one as Fallen comes through as a connector. Almost no chance of winning this one. He'll flash out for the best there. Nice try. They just, even while fully blind, gets the kill. Allows him to stay alive there, so that's fantastic. As they rotate back towards the B bomb side, just one player waiting there, and that's Cold Zera. He has the Desert Eagle. Phelps will rotate in as well. Flashbang and the follow up headshot is absolutely sublime. And it looks like there's a lot of pressure being applied here. Could be another response from MIBR, and indeed it is. Three players survive. They answer back with a single smoke and a couple of flashbangs to set it up. It just doesn't sound very likely. You laid out like that, you know, you sort of feel like the odds are dwindling that they could do this. 25 seconds, and Cold will take care of Sip. Phelps with his third kill of the round. And Could have almost been the three. Not going to get to see the Deagle this time around. It might be, oh, now. Uh, that's about as good as it gets, but they know they're up against the Ego here, and they're continuing to show aggression here. Let's get the first shot towards the Strauss, and the things are coming through. Oh, my goodness, the Glocks. They come out on top, and Fur, he's got to pick up the pieces here. So he's got the option to fall back, but ideally he wants to get rid of that weapon. He can throw the AKs over the wall, but he's doing a good job of shutting this down. He should be absolutely fine. He takes another ding day, leaving that great debris. Another one down to 14 HP. So a good start from Astralis, but ultimately only one HE in hand. Might want to deploy that momentarily. We'll see if he feels that way inclined. 14 seconds, and he's just walking through the smoke. A nice kill from Zippo, but it should lead to a... Round victory here, a nice finish for Cold Zero. Great stuff, three players survive once again. I wonder if uh, if he could get fired up, if that wouldn't be almost enough, if that would make the, the key difference at the moment. He's looking excited as well, like you could tell, he's uh, into the game. Falling going to be taking Ooh. down Dupree, so another good start, and they're immediately going to try and fall back. Yeah, well, they've confirmed they're up against the pistols here. Not too much heavy lifting has to be done. Opening kill from Fallen of uh, just only a defensive position towards the bar from seeing their footsteps all around him in this world. Confirmation. Good kill that should get a couple here. Takes effects down to a sliver of health, but Fur is in a very similar position. He'll be dropped for Fallen. Still looks incredibly strong, and MIBR are on fire at sea. Teammate to rotate in. Still with no plan here, I Finally setting up. That grenade is going to be right on top, so Omega's taking a bit of damage there. 
And Estranas are weirdly locked in the bomb side. They, they probably don't really want that. They prefer to have somebody a little bit outside that could, you know, take a little bit of attention away, maybe flank around in an after part scenario. It's looking a little bit strange here for them. Setting up for that smoke though at the Elven is really well timed and that's gonna buy a little bit of time now. Thor has to make this one work and he will. That's a massive kill of the retake. Cold Sierra next to take down device and now Magus. He's gonna go down immediately. Ooh. Cold Sierra cleaning it up. Three kills just like that. And that was trying to maneuver. I think they're hoping right now, Astralis, that they make a mistake on the MIBR side and yeah. give them a kill. And that's just not happening at the moment. Cold Sierra, more headshots raining in. He is looking like an absolute champion in this game. And Dupree wants to sneak in. Somebody has to make a play. Dupree's going to be getting a single kill, but shot down Taco with a double. And that will be MIB on a nine. He's really liking this position, Taco. And I think it's worked. He's got to kill every single time he's been here. Now, I just feel like the follow-up is what they really need to work on, like how he gets away from it. But still, not bad at all. Big chance there. Fur coming in with the flank. They, they won't have to be there for a while. After this round, they're going to be uh, having pretty much every player. Five digits. Uh, yes, everyone bar for my versus four, but what a shot that is. Great stuff. This is a vintage fallen coming out of this fight. Flashman goes in. He wants a second bite of the cherry, but facing towards Barthens this time. Zipex dropped from the flank, and now we go to a four versus three. And the final commitment towards Long Astralis will do absolutely everything they can, as always. See the shadow, but what a shot. The vice takes him down, and at this point, it's a three versus three. Can Astralis convert this one? First holding a good position, as long as he doesn't get shot at the back, there's the headshot coming through, another one follow-up, great job from Fur, and that leaves Glaive with just 14 seconds in a one versus two, uh, that's not looking good, they're just going to go down, another round for MIBR, 11 to 2. Um, over the last few months, so we'll see what can be done there, it's going to be Dupree making his way in, as Magus will back him up, great stuff so far, but still a three versus three, Cold Terra, he's been absolute beast so far using the orc great stuff gets the advantage once again he wants another there's the headshot delivered as glade left in an impossible situation once again doesn't there. really matter now 40 seconds and he, he's in a lot of trouble backup coming in from the other side as well as fur being very aggressive right behind him and glaive See if we could do anything. I mean, I don't know what the right play is there. If you go to look at the try and see you hit that B bomb side again, they've tried that a number of times and it just has not really been working out. Taco down here, ready with the org, and again, buying time. Cold Sierra gonna get the one kill. Taco once again, and the bomb even drops down in the water. I mean, if it wasn't bad already, certainly that makes it a lot worse. 13 to 2, Henry. Couldn't finish off the shot. It's gonna be fur that's dropped. There's still a chance here as Cold Zero brings one back in their favor. Phelps somehow gets the jumping head shot, and a second kill comes in. That's Dupree, the low HP player, dropped. And and now they're heading towards B and it's sort of split mentality. They're going Phelps back. coming in. Yeah, I think. Oh, they're falling back. Yeah, they're going back. They are. The bomb and the device got caught. He did not see that coming. I mean, no, no one did. did, right? We can see everything we didn't see. Here. That's mental. And by, by the way, what on earth is Phelps doing to the game? How is he pre firing the edge of the smoke for the second kill? I mean, this is outrageous. Now it's on Sip and he's going to get run down. What a round. Of from Astralis at this point, we're going to see Magus Glaive and Zipex just with pistols trying to make their way through towards the bomb site. A desperate grenade comes through, barely scratches the Brazilians here. And that's going to be an absolutely zero chance of winning this round. Yeah, not going to happen. A little bit of tapping away here. It's all just for show. 15 to 2 in favor of MIBR against Astralis. I mean,. Wow. Sister Henry, I said that they were going to win the Berlin Major, and I feel like... Um, you said it might be Ara? Yeah. <laughs> like, that is so, crack out, <laughs> change lots, uh, it's all going wrong. I, I will admit, so much of my life is about just watching how the universe treats Moses, and it is just, it is funny. Life's not fair for him sometimes. <laughs> uh, but either way, it's going to be Dupree trying to fend them off. It looks like we're done here. I can't believe, I'm telling you this, ladies and gentlemen, it will be 16-2, but looks at things in favor of MIBR against Astralis, but don't speak too soon. Dupree might be able to get this one done. He's low HP, a couple of bullets will take him down, especially if they hit him in the head like that. And Zipex and Glaive, who's actually the walking wounded right now at 18 HP, trying to hold the A-bomb site. He's got a CZ to do it. How does he possibly make this work? I'm not sure he even can. Flashbang comes through. It doesn't really blind anyone. One bullet anywhere on his body will take him down at this point. Phelps doesn't want to overcommit. They really want to guarantee their chances to win in the round. And still, Glaive holds strong. Zipex are rotating. They've got to stick together at this point. Hope for the best. And there it is. Can you believe it? 16-2 in favor of MIBR against the number one team in in the world. What a convincing victory that is. When I'm really good boy. When I'm bad, 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 I'm better. When I'm good, I'm really good girl. When I'm
Bam, 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 bam,